Catherine Harridge is here, our chief intelligence correspondent, who's on the line with us with some new insights. Catherine, to you. Well, thank you, Shepard. Uh, with hindsight now, there are two events this week which really suggest that there was going to be a major development in the email investigation. One of our law enforcement sources told us that Thursday, a senior leadership meeting with FBI was scheduled in Quantico, Virginia, and it was canceled at short notice and very precipitously. A second, we were also contacted Thursday by someone who's working directly with the FBI who indicated that new information uh, had come to light in the case that had not been examined in the course of the original FBI investigation. So in hindsight, this now suggests that they were ramping up for the announcement that we had today, Shepard. It sounds like, at least the way that they're presenting it, this is a very simple case of we had a case we had gone through all of the information related to that case. We decided that the case should not go forward. Now we have more information, so we're going to look at that information. And if anything changes, we'll let you know, except 11 days from, from an election. Correct. It's, it's a bit Correct. of a mess. Well, what I would say on that point, Shepard, is that um, you hear this term closed case. Um, that means uh, in FBI language that the case file is sitting on the shelf because for the FBI, nothing is really ever closed. They always have the option to re-engage and reinitiate. And in fact, uh, based on a conversation with two former FBI agents this afternoon, they emphasized to me that it's not unusual to reopen a case if new evidence comes to light. Now, the caveat in that conversation was that you only re-engage or reopen if you think there is sufficient evidence and the quality of the evidence is significant, but most importantly, it has direct relevance to the investigation. And yet Comey so says he doesn't even know whether this matter is, that these matters are of significance yet. He used that specific word and said he doesn't know yet. He says he doesn't know, but you would not re-engage an investigation on the basis of a handful of emails in a spam folder, okay? <laughs> you would not do that. You would re-engage when you think there's sufficient evidence and as evidence that may, in fact, be relevant. And this goes to the point of whether it contains classified information. So this potentially is a case where there is classified information on the device of a party who was well outside the U.S. government. Of a party well outside the U.S. government. That well, would be that, would be a, that would be the Anthony Weiner device, okay, if yep. it showed up on that, right? So, again... The, the issue with classified information is how far outside secure channels it went. The argument in the in email investigation is that these were government people exchanging information with her. They did not have an expectation or an intent to take classified information outside of that channel. If the device is Wiener's device and it's got classified information, this takes it well outside the scope of State Department business. Catherine Harridge on the live line with us. Catherine, thank you.